good noon my dear students uh, now today i will uh, start to the uh, your third papers in the series of the third paper series the next order is the lepidoptera i am dr vipin chand pathak assistant professor in nsm government pg college pitharagar today i will uh, now i will just to uh, tell you the uh, characteristic features of this uh, lepidoptera and then we will start to this one okay. same sequence now uh, if you come to the point in we will start uh, to this study in a point to point wise manner and lepidoptera lepidoptera is a order of order of insecta as you are knowing about that lepidoptera is a order of insecta right insecta is a class now students uh, the first point is the moth and butterfly included in this order are soft bodied in insects and very great in size from minute to very large in size what this point indicates this point indicates that this order of insect this order of the insect this order of insect includes the moth and butterfly i will show you the moth and butterfly i will just show you uh, the moth and butterfly yeah this is butterfly this is a butterfly which is very colored and uh, most of the time it comes in the day times and now uh, this is moth this is dull in color mostly it comes in the night time is nocturnal habit and here are many scales here in this body so these are the these moth and butterfly are includes under to this order yada aapse koi question poochta hai मॉथ एंड बटरफ्लाई किस ऑर्डर में आते हैं तो आपका आंसर होगा कि वह जो है लेबिडोप्टेरा जो ऑर्डर है इंसेक्टा का उसके अंतर्गत आते हैं सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दे आर करेक्टराइज दे आर करेक्टराइज बाय द बॉडी विंग्स अपेंडेज बीइंग जनरली कवर्ड डेंसली विथ ए फ्रिक्वेंटेड स्केल्स विच प्रोवाइड्स द कलर पैटर्न ऑफ द करेक्टरिस्टिक इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है दिस इज ए इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट क्या इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है If this point indicates that these animals, these insects, are characterized by their shape of the body, their wings, and their appendages. कि कैसे उनके वे जो है उनकी body है, किस तरह के उनके wings हैं, और किस तरह के उनके appendages हैं. As well as their wings are also covered by the pigmented scales. So there are the pigmented scales. The pigmented scales are also present their wings. and due to that pigmented scales they are colored uh, colorful they are colorful as well as they attract to the others they are very charming bahut acche lagte hain they attract to the others why they attract so due to the presence so you will see here due to the presence of this uh, the pigmented scales due to the presence of this pigmented scales uh, you are saying that these are very colorful in then we will come to the next point is to my dear student Lepidoptera is one of the largest of order of insect order with more than one lakh five thousand known species. Approx, this is a largest order. This is a uh, uh, this is a largest order in case of the insect in terms of the known species. So here is the uh, approximately one lakh five thousand known species are coming under to this order. Lakh five thousand species is coming under to this order. so therefore this is a largest order then you will see here is, is the important point next is the head the head of adult is hypognathous and is relatively small the head of the uh, these insect is very uh, hypognathous hypognathous head means if you uh, go uh, to we will go to the uh, to the part of that head part in the our uh, previous lectures you are well known about that but i will show you the uh, remember ring now you will see here there are the mostly the head of the insect is made three types the size on the basis of the size one is prognathous and second is hypognathous and third is the ophicnathous in prognathous head the mouth parts are forward in way and but in the hypognathous these mouth parts are downwards and in ophicnathous head these mouth parts are comes to the uh, backward direction piche ki or aate hain mouth parts isme niche ki taraf jayenge isme aage ki or jayenge 
So, uh, in uh, case of the Levator training site, the hypognathias head is present. In case of the Levator uh, insect, आपने देखा जो Levator insect हैं जो आप पढ़ रहे हैं, the Levator in case of the Levator insect. In case of the Levator insect, the head is hypognathias. What it means? It means the mouth parts are downwards. इसका मतलब क्या है? Mouth parts downwards होंगे, as well as these are relatively small. Then the next point is the clypeus occupies the greater portion of the whole head. Most of the uh, portion of the head, uh, this is a specific, uh, specific structure. This is the clypeus uh, occupies that function. Then we will come to the next part. The uh, eyes, the compound eyes are large and well apart. The compound eyes are large, large the eyes, the compound eyes are large and well apart. आप देखेंगे यहाँ पर मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ। The compound eyes are large. The compound eyes are large and well apart. That means there is a distance between these two eyes. इन दोनों eyes के बीच में एक distance होगी। And the compound eyes. Then come to the next part. The ocelli. Ocelli means these are the simple eyes. The ocelli are two in number. The ocelli are two in number. And most of the moth, most of the moth are most of the moth are uh, are one on side close to the margin of the compound eyes there are a, another pair of eyes that are the simple eyes ocelli that are also present in case of the moth and that are near to the margin of compound eyes then we will come to the next points in case this one the ocelli may be replaced the ocelli may be replaced by a pair of sensory organs Known as Ketocema in some family. उस families के केस में जो ये ocelli होते हैं, these ocelli are replaced by sensory organs. Why sensory organs? Because the neurons penetrate through them. Neurons जब वहाँ होंगे, तो they become the sensory organs. So here the students in some families, these ocelli are replaced, replaced by sensory organ. That sensory organ is known as Ketocema. याद रखने का पॉइंट है केटोसीमा इज ए सेंसरी ऑर्गन दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन सम फैमिलीज देन वी विल कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द एंटीना आर वेरी ग्रेटली इन देयर स्ट्रक्चर जो एंटीना का स्ट्रक्चर होगा इट शोस मेनी डाइवर्सिटी एंड लेंथ एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स मे बी एक्सिबिटेड इन द पैक्टिनेट एंड बाइपैक्टिनेट एंटीनी ऑफ सर्टेन मेल लेबिडोप्टेरा in case of uh, this antenna structure, antenna is a sensory structure. Antenna is a sensory structure. In these animals, uh, in few insects, the, the antenna is pectinate, and in few, the antenna is bipectinate. And the presence of that antenna also indicates uh, shows a sexual dimorphism in the male, uh, male and females of these uh, uh, insects. So here you will see here this is a bipectinate antenna. Are uh, bipectinate antenna? We are seeing. इस तरह भी आपको वेनिसन मिल रहा है इस तरह भी और यदि आपका सपोज दैट इट इज यूनिपैक्टिनेट तो यू विल फाइंड आउट द वेनिसन ओनली वन साइड एक ही तरफ आपको वेनिसन मिलेगा इफ यू विल फाइंड आउट वेनिसन इन वन साइड इट इज योर व्हाट इज दैट इट इज यूनिपैक्टिनेट बट हियर इज द बाइपैक्टिनेट एंटीना हियर इज द बाइपैक्टिनेट एंटीना एंड दीज एंटीना सो दीज एंटीना हैज डाइवर्सिटी इन केस ऑफ द इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर्स दीज इंसेक्ट ऑर्डर है सो दीज एंटीना ऑफ इज ए सेंसरी स्ट्रक्चर विच सोज डाइवर्सिटी जो इंसेक्ट के केस में सेंसरी स्ट्रक्चर हैं एंटीना दी सोज डाइवर्सिटी किसी में आपको किसी तरह के मिलेंगे किसी में किसी तरह के मिलेंगे किसी में किसी तरह के वी विल कम टू दैट पार्ट हियर इज यू विल सी हियर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द एंटीना दैट आई एक्सप्लेन इन द डिफरेंट ऑर्डर्स विच आर अवॉर्ड अंडर यूर सिलेबस Uh, some are the filiforms these are the monoliforms like and these are the uh, these are your uh, the captate and geniculate and these are the plumose type of antenna these plumose type of antenna mostly students they are found in your uh, uh, mosquitoes and irritate so these are the different types of the aristate antenna so these are the different types of antennas are found in the different orders of insect now we will come to the our next points In the thorax region. Now we will come to the thorax region. Thorax, uh, the thorax segment are fused with the mesothorax, uh, fused, and the mesothorax is the largest and most prominent. 
here is the question i in every class or every your class i uh, told you that the the thorax region has three parts one is prothorax second is mesothorax and third one is the metathorax and from each thorax part one pair of legs are are rising one pair of legs are coming from one part prolex coming from prothorax and make mid legs coming from your mesothorax part and the meta legs comes from your metathorax part so here you will see here in case of the uh, lepidopteran insect in case of the moth moth and butterfly this mesothorax region is largest and it is prominent so this is mesothorax region is prominent and mesothorax region is this mesothorax region is the middle region is prominent and this mesothorax region is prominent and largest in case of your uh, lepidopteran insect so we will come to there the wings are well developed and proportionately large you will see here the wings are proportional as, as compared to proportional to your body size the wings are large please off your audio off your audio please this is trend ka audio chal raha hai piche se wo audio off kar lijiye i will provide you a time and during that time you will ask me right trend ka anyone have the questions so you can write your questions in the uh, chat sections i will cover to that questions don't worry for that now students you will see here uh, i will just to talk about the uh, these things the wings are well developed aapse pucha jayega wings kaise honge so you will say that the wings are well developed and these are proportionately large as compared to their body size body size ki tulna mein unke jo wings honge wo wings kya hote hain unke body size ki tulna mein the wings uh, their wings are in their as compared to their body size are large large hote hain body size ki tulna mein as you have seen then we will come to the next points that they are covered by the overlapping scales and on the wing membrane of most cases on the wing membrane of most cases micro trachea or acula are present you will see this these wings has overlapping scale and these wings are overlapping scales are also present in their wings in their wing membrane in most cases some micro trachea or acula are present present next we will come to the next part in some a tympanal organ may be found in the metathorax region or at the base of the wings right this is a tympanal organ tympanal ward means this is pressure detecting if the tympanal ward is coming so that means it detect the pressure it detect the pressure so now here is this tympanal organ this is very important for my dear student the tympanal organ is present in the metathorax region where it presents so your answer is tympanal is present in the metathorax at the base of wings okay then we will come to the next part the endoconia the endoconia is the plumules the endoconia that is a plumules are specialized scales what is endoconia so your answer is these are the scales and these plumule like scales these are the specialized scales that are found in groups on the upper surface of the wings they are found in the upper surface of the wings of certain lepidoptera snails they are found in certain lepidoptera like snails and they serve and these endoconia serve as a outlet for the ordinary pheroes glands now your question is what this gland now this ordinary pheroes gland secretes some pheromones and now your question is what is pheromones so pheromones means these are the ectohormones and yet that you will say so what is hormones or they are the primary messengers primary messengers which provides the information from one from the source to the uh, targets now in legs uh, legs uh, the legs are well developed with large coxa uh, remembered uh, and the tarsi are five segmented and ending in paired claws i will show you the legs also i, I now the, you will see here this is the leg of the insect and the leg of insect has the, the leg of insect has, these are the parts these are the coxa propontor femur tibia and tarsus here you will see here you will see in case of uh, the uh, uh, lepidopteran insect this tarsus region this tarsus region is five segmented 
this tarsus region is five segmented and and in this tarsus region a claw like structures are present in this tarsus region a claw like structures are present and the another point is this coxa which is attached to the body this is the proximal part of the leg that is very large that is very large you will see here we will go here okay now you will see here in certain families in certain families in certain families of butterfly in certain families of butterfly in certain families of butterfly uh, the four legs are reduced but in certain families of butterfly the four legs are reduced because three pairs of the legs so these are the hexapods are reduced either in male only in this is the family this is a question for your competitive exams also right reduced either in male only that is the rio dynidae and or in both sexes that is the nymphal id aap se question pooch liye jayega kabhi aap jab ers ka jaisa question dete ho agriculture recruitment scientist board ke liye entomology ki section se to usme question aage aapka ki the four legs are reduced in which family to aapke in this family of lepidoptera to aapka answer hoga nymphal id in case of the nymphal id the four legs इन मेल एंड फीमेल बोथ आर रिड्यूज बट इन ओनली इन मेल दो क्वेश्चन यहाँ पर बन गए तो आपका आंसर होगा रायो डाइनाइडी एंड नॉट इन फीमेल ऑफ बैग वॉर्म्स दैट इज अडी फैमिली द लेग्स आर एट्रोफी एट्रोफी का मतलब होता है दे आर रिड्यूज एट्रोफी मीन्स होता है दे आर डिट्रॉयरेशन हुआ उनका एट्रोफी मीन्स दे आर वेरी मच रिड्यूज तो इन केस ऑफ दाइकेडी फैमिली Bagworms में इनके females के केस में in case of the females the legs are atrophy. Next we will come to the next part that is the abdomen. The abdomen is ten segmented. As you know the arthropods means jointed animals. Yeah, thorax and abdomen. In case of the butterfly and moth, these are lepidopter and insect. The abdomen is ten segmented and frequently partially fused or telescope. Then we will come to the next point. In many lepto lepidopter insect. In many lepidoptera, the tympanum, tympanum is a just like a scale-like structure, and is situated either one on either side of the base of abdomen. Abdomen base of the abdomen means the tympanal organ. Uh, around to the tympanal organ, you will find a scale-like, scale-like, some scale-like structures. That is the tympanum. The role of this tympanum is pressure detection. The role of this one is the pressure. detection is role is uh, to detect the pressure then we will come to the next part yeah now my dear students you will see here the sarsai are wandering the sarsai are wandering and sarsai means these sarsai are pre presents here so these sarsai are wandering this these sarsai are wandering then we will come to the the genitalia we will come to the genital organs of these animals we will come to the genital organs of these animals so you will see here the male genitalia consist of the male genitalia consist of tegumen representing the ninth segment representing the ninth segment in the form of a narrow ring encircling the apex of the body and an invaginatory sternal region that is called vinculum vinculum so now student genit in case of the male genitalia that consist of a tegumen that consist of a tegumen and that is that represents the ninth segment because in your their body how many segment in their abdomen so your answer is 10 segments so in the ninth segment you will find out a tegumen and that tegumen forms a circle like structure that tegumen forms a that tegumen forms a circle like structure now that tegumen forms a you will see that tegumen forms a circle like structure now this tegumen forms a circle like structure that is uh, an invaginatory sternal ring and invaginate in the sternal rings and uh, ventral side you are seeing the sternites and dorsal side you are seeing the sternites so that is what is that this is called the vinculum this is called your this is called the vinculum right okay we will come to the next part in terms for the median sacus and which in turn in turn it forms this vinculum forms a median sacus that extending into the preceding segment that extending into the preceding segments means that extending to the eighth segment till to the eighth segment because the preceding segments means eighth segment here so uh, now we will go uh, to the next part uh, 
hinge to the vinculum the uh, distal part of this uh, this ring like structure vinculum is a pair of claspers is a pair of claspers and that is the most prominent organ of external genitalia and from the hinged part from the distal part of this ring like structure of vinculum a pair of claspers are present in males and that is the prominent organ of gen external genitalia of that male butterfly now we will come to the next part on the inner aspect of the clasper on the inner aspect of that clasper are the spine like harpies or on the inner side of that clasper that is prominent organ of male a spine spine like harpies are present then we will come to the next point towards the fine region of the ninth, ninth tergum is a median hook like bifid process that is a, a bifid process a bifid process means uh, just like a y shaped process this is a y shaped process if you talk about the this is a y shaped process so uh, now in this case of the y shaped process uh, if you will find out the uh, and that that y shaped process is known as that bifid process is known as uncus that bifid process is known as uncus just like this one that bifid process is known as uncus right in the margin of ninth tergum is a median hook like bifid process median hook like process or bifid process so what is that name of that that is known as uncus then we will come to the next point a median ventral sclerite known as genethos a median ventral sclerite that is known as genethos is present in many lepidoptera in lepid in many lepidoptera leaf like structure that is the genethos or that is a ventral sclerite is present the uncus this uncus this is bifid process and this genoth are usually supposed to represent the tergum and the sternum of the 10th segment and these are usually they suppose represents the tergum and sternum of the 10th segment this bifid process of uncus and genothos below the geneth uh, below the genethos is it presents a uh, presents a adiagus this adiagus is a mostly in our male orthopods it is a reproductive organ with adiagus it in most uh, male orthopods it is a reproductive organ which is supported by the stratified juxta this is this adiagus is supported by the this stratified juxta now we will come to the the anus is just beneath uncus uncus you will find out the uncus in the in this last segment because this is a 10th uncus you will find out here and below to this uncus this bifid process uh, the anus opens just beneath to the uncus in females the attenuated attenuated that means somewhat it is reduced and tail is scooped at the tail terminal abdominal segment terminal abdominal segment means 10th segment a rift a retractile ovipositor is present a ovipositor is present oh, what is ovipositor ovipositor means it is a egg laying organ in many forms the insect are oviparous the insect is egg laying insect and holometabolous holometabolous means complete metamorphosis occurs in these lepidopteran insect so now the, uh, this is the uh, this is a butterfly you will see this is a uh, these are the uh, antennae of these butterfly and which are sensory in structures and uh, these are the uh, scales these are the colored pigment scales uh, pigment molecules are present in there so therefore they are very colored and these are the moth and these moths are mostly uh, nocturnal in orbit and uh, this is a bipectinate antennae or the scales the scaly covering um, in the head in the body regions of this uh, moth as well as these scales are also present in their in, uh, in their wings uh, this is the structure okay, okay. now students you can ask me uh, to your questions please ask me to your questions ask questions jo bhi lepidoptera se related aapke questions hain so i will uh, you can write to these questions yes yes you can ask jo bhi aapko lepidoptera se related nahi aaya hai wo aap puch sakte hain you can write the questions in the chat section so that it is more better for us for me as well as you also tympanum tympanum is a pressure detection organ okay and tympanum is a uh, it is just like as a scales that right? is just like as a scales 
and it is present uh, at the base of base of abdomen and the role of this tympanum is as pressure detection it detects the pressure renka I, your question is okay next then next tympanum is also present in your ear next question next question किसी का कोई और क्वेश्चन है नो क्वेश्चन 